When entering Toledo on the 75, drivers are greeted by this, an old brick school building, gutted and overgrown. The first thing you see is a big four-story building with the windows out. Now, lifelong Toledo resident Greg Becker wants answers. Just wonder why this is still the way it is after 18 months, why it's looking like a, a war zone. Greg went to this school as a kid and his parents still live nearby. And after numerous attempts to find out its fate with no reply, he came to us. I can't get any answers. I've been calling and emailing the board and, and nobody will reply. Most recently it was Riverside Elementary, but that closed a couple of years ago. Then demolition began and abruptly stopped and now no work has been done for months. If they're going to use it and repair it, that's great. But if they're not going to use it, go ahead and tear it down and put a park here or something. Just make it usable and, and look nice for the neighborhood. Greg says he doesn't want to cause problems. He just wants what's best for his hometown. Build the community up. Don't tear it down. You know, as far as leaving it like this, it's just going to cause more problems. So I called the school board to get some answers. I found out the delay to be the Police Athletic League building, which is attached to the rear of the school. The problem? It's all attached to the same power source. I was told that PAL is currently looking for a temporary facility until the demo is done, and that TPS is waiting on some permits that should be completed by next week. And Greg, I was told that the demolition is going to be done in December, or at the very latest in January. Just another step as the glass city looks to the future. Chris Delcamp, WNWO News.